Hey guys, to Vegas. Been a while since I caught up with sand. Don't confuse it with Paris. Oh, hey, you're that camera guy. You're that crazy camera guy I've been hearing so much about. Not me, I'm just a whore. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, a man whore? What do you identify as? I'm trying to see what you got in your pants there. Ah! I'm a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a platypus and that's it. What's your pronoun? I, say, I am just an it. You know, I'm just here. I fuck with them. Just live in. You fuck with thems? I fuck with thems. How do they clean that? I fuck with thems, I fuck with dames. I fuck with all of them. Santos out here rocking that vest. Santos, where'd you get that vest, bro? Uh, Gucci. Yeah. It's a little big, but it's the XBS Gucci. My boy over here just got us. That's your boy, Santos brought his boy here all the way to Vegas. You brought two boys out here. Yeah. Santos, doesn't this remind you of Tatooine? Uh, yeah, a little bit. The rocky places near Jabba's Palace, not so much uh, near Mos Eisley. Because that's where the desert begins. But if you watch Part 2 get captured by Joel, in about a setting some parts. There's got to be a bunch of parks, not a party spot. Just pulls up. Oh, it's kill! <laughs> I was like, this is the luchador for sure, pulling up in the middle of the place here, not parking in a spot. What up, dog? Hey, young Nick on the ones and twos, holding it down, making some movie magic, bro, in the desert. Yeah, that's it. He owns all this land, ladies and gentlemen. This is all his land. So, yeah, you, you pulling together a vision for this? This is going to be quite the cinematic experience. Yeah, I've been like... I stayed up all night. We had a meeting last night. We had a script. We settled on a script. We locked down. We went to bed. Santos comes in this morning. and goes, yo, I'm changing everything. <laughs> I'm like, all right, what do we got? And then uh, and he starts talking. I'm like, this is going to be shit. And it wasn't shit, which was annoying. Because I'm like, damn it. Now we actually do have to change everything. So we're changing everything now. Running, yeah. gunning. That's how we do it, though. Holding it down 24-7. You already know. In the desert. Oh, yeah. oh, power. But the boys right now in Vegas. Rocking the snap lenses, seeing how they work out. What's wrong with our boy over there? Okay. Which boy? For all your boys, you gotta specify which boy. You know, I want to get our best boy. Santos? Okay, that's all right. Um, somewhere in the snap spec, you'll see how they play out. I don't know. I'm trying to bring them back before Snapchat closes. I'm trying to get my money's worth, you know? They're really ugly, though. Shut up! You'll knock you out. What? You're gonna get it. Oh. Look at this room we got over here. This is the big boy room. With the uh, the huge couch set up over here. Covered in hooker blood and cum. Got my boys. Hey boys. We were just hanging out watching some wrestling. Right? I forced everyone to watch wrestling. I was in the other room watching Roseanne. The new Roseanne? The reboot? The Roseanne reboot? Darlene's son is a 10 year old transgender. Really? Wait, he's her son is 10 year old transgender. She, he was born a girl? No, he's born a boy and he wears a, a skirt to school. Like okay, so we, let's just say she now, okay? No, it's still a he. John Goodman was the grandpa, was like, it's still my son. My grandson. It all depends on what your pronoun is. Is that it? That works. That's it. Yo, this is the dinner table scenario. Right? right? Only in Vegas, by the way. Only in Vegas. What's this bar for? Hey, what's this little bar? If you think about it, over here in the corner, looks like uh, it's about that big. This bar. What's that bar for? You think? Hey, Vegas. Curious about that one. This is where Amir's been conducting all of his business meetings. True. In here. You pack. A big lynch. What do you mean am I packed? I, I live out of my suitcase when I'm here. Dum dum. Uh, Lynch, you're probably wondering why I gathered you here today. And ladies and, <laughs> and, ladies and gentlemen, there's blood stains on the roof. Like, I don't know if it's reading on camera, but that's actually like 100% blood stains. Which, when my brother was in here, we were like, Darren, look at the blood on the ceiling. And he was like, ass blood? We were like, no one ever said ass blood. Why would you say ass blood? But I guess he knows. It's one of his abilities. He can tell which yeah, part of your body. Comment section where you think that blood came from. Yeah, let us know in the comment section where that blood came from. Do you agree? Did it come from the ass? Is it ass blood? Let us know. Okay. Oh, the tour continues. It's never-ending room experience. 
Oh, this is where my this is where I rested my head at. Relax, dude. And there's the bathroom. Is the bathroom, which is cool. There's a TV that turns on right there, um, and you can hook up your music to play from the speakers and the ceiling. And there's steam room in here. It's a steam room as well. And I know ever since the number one YouTuber made excellent points about why we shouldn't be flexing on y'all motherfuckers. I like to think that my fan base doesn't consist of 12 year olds. You know, a lot of you are my age or a couple years younger, a couple years older. And you know, you could see this room and just be like, wow, that's fucking crazy. And I could say that, hey, this is very exciting for me. I want to show it to you. Uh, now we're going to head over to the bank machine and pull out 10K cash. I'm going to go buy Gucci shoes. No, I'm kidding. That's not actually happening. But I did like that video that uh, PewDiePie made where he was talking about flexing on followers where literally almost everyone does that except for Julian Solomita and maybe him. But regardless, man. There's a fucking TV when you shitting, boy. There's a TV when you shitting, boy. You don't think I want to... Man, we're back. That's it. We're back, man. Yeah, we're here. Back in the kitchen, like Harley said. Back in the kitchen making epic meals. Vegas was a trip, though. Can't see this. It's true. There is some advanced stuff going on there. Dan and Amir. Yep, I got a haircut. It's crazy. <laughs> don't fuck with me, chief. I'm in the zone. Remember that? My new haircut? Yeah. Original YouTube shit? Maybe that shit inspired me. Remember that, Amir? Yeah. Remember that? Don't fuck with me, chief. I'm in the zone. Or something like that. Chaz, my new haircut. Anyways, got me into YouTube shit like that. But, uh... We can't even show you what's going on over there because like for the first time ever in, in forever is there's lots of other channels that do big boy things and Dan and Amir had these like extensive epic meal plan and another channel just did it. Not that they copied it or knew that we were going to do it, just when you're thinking in this you end up going down the same path like when we did the happy meal and healthy junk food was like ah that was on our list you know like stuff like that so we can't I don't even think you would really know what the fuck we're doing there anyways but uh yeah, uh, shout out to Healthy Junk Food. I like those I, I like those people, I was messaging them on Instagram. But we're back, back in Toronto, making moves, making things happen, but we got New York plans next week, and LA plans, and New York plans, lots of traveling, but while we're here, we're gonna make the most of it, you know, in the kitchen, making shit pop, 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 pop. And you pop. release those epic meals every Tuesday. Go grab yourself a bag of pizza in the back. Where's it available, dog? Every Walmart in the USA. If you're in the USA, grab yourself a bag of pizza in the back. We want it in Canada too, trust me. We want our mummies and daddies to go get some in Walmart, but it's not there yet. So we're gonna do a small sample test of every single Walmart in the USA. Tiny test. Yeah, tiny test. Uh, which is actually my nickname, because I got a small sack. Tiny test, it's your boy, tiny testies. Kapeep, 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 kapeesh. Anyways, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, I wish it was available in Canada, but we'll get there. Write a letter to Walmart Canada and be like, yo, I want that piece in a bag, shaboo-boo. In, in, in all reality, if you are living in Canada, and you live in Toronto, you could just, uh, you know, slide in the DM and I'll sell you a bag on the black market. Black market price is... Uh, that's one. Jeff Atari on Instagram, and he won't be selling pizza in a bag on the side, but that's Jeff Atari on Instagram. If you want to cool down on Instagram if you want. And... Uh, <laughs> You know what? I won't tell it, I won't tell it. Yeah, yeah, we'll end it. And I love, I love when Amir, of all people, starts a comment off by going, in all reality, and it's like, bro, you don't know the first thing about all reality. Never. Don't ever start a sentence no. with all Never reality. Never lived reality. Never lived reality in his life. It's like when people say, uh, honestly, and then they say, like, so and they're the biggest liar. We're supposed to assume that everything else they've said prior to saying honestly is not the truth. Bro, no lie? Yeah, exactly. Bro, no to be honest. For reals? Yo, for reals? Yeah, bro, you want to laugh and then you don't laugh. Okay, all right, guys, mad love to you. Thanks for popping in. Make sure you check out the epic meal tonight. It's basically pizza in a bag, the movie. We made an epic meal time short. It's going to be like 20, 25 minutes. It's going to be lit. It's really going to be great. I look forward to it. We went to Vegas to shoot it and uh, we shot some scenes in Tatooine. It's going to be hype. Papu, papu. And Santos hasn't seen his family in a week. No, he's very he's sick. Really, he's gonna die here. Really, my guy. He's yeah. gonna die. He's gonna die. The, in my this basement. episode might literally kill Santos. Yeah. And side note on the mention of Tatooine, Adam Sand fights me every single day at work because he refuses to believe that I love the Last Jedi. It's hilarious. It turns into a screaming match after a minute. But he's a dum dum. Anyways, guys, uh, leave me a comment. I read every single one of them. Mad love. Shabam boom. Mm -hmm.